my favorite SNES games that I own. Starting off with Donkey Kong Country, the original. Awesome, awesome series. Loved this game. Especially this is the one that started the whole thing. But fantastic side scroller. Awesome. Love the music. You can collect letters within the game that spells out Kong, which you can do that in some of the other ones as well. But this is where it all started. It awesome side scroller. Next is Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy Kong's Quest. Another awesome side scroller. Fantastic. Especially owning the originals physical. I mean, you could own them digital on the Wii U, which is fine. But I'm not sure if the Wii U eShop is even still working. It's a possibility it might be. But if you can own it physically, do it if, if you can. It don't cost too much. Um, if I had Donkey Kong Country 3, I would add this to it because I love those the games. So good. Secret of Mana, of course. Very, very Zelda-like. Um, very, very open world RPG. Secret of Mana is fantastic. They did a remake of this on PS3, and I think it's exclusive. To, no, PS3. Why did I say that for? I meant to say PS4. It's it, it, they, the remake was exclusive to PS4, and I think you can only get it at GameStop. But I think I saw it online also, where I think somebody was selling it. But that's besides this point. But Secret of Mana is fantastic. I would love to see this on the Switch. And of course, in another country, they have the Secret of Mana collection on Switch, which is that's cool, but it's not over here. So, The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, my first Zelda game I ever played. Love this game. Fantastic. Definitely my favorite on the SNES. Awesome Zelda game. RPG, open world. Love this Zelda game. It is really, really good. And but we did get get kind of like a remake of it, kind of. Um, it's uh, a link, a link between worlds, which is on the 3DS, and that is a good game. Uh, next will have to be. Let me get the first one first before I get the sequel. Super Mario World. Fantastic Mario game. Side scroller in, but when you're like click, when you're clicking on the levels of which one you want to play, there's like a huge map, and it, it looks it's very, very opened up, which is cool. But it's not open world for sure, because it's a side scroller. But it is awesome. Next is its sequel, Super Mario World 2: Yoshi's Island. Awesome game. It's just very, very annoying. Because when Baby Mario, if you get hit, he gets thrown off and gets put into a bubble and starts crying. And if you don't get him, uh, I think then I think I, some numbers start showing up and start counting down. If you don't, if you don't get to him to zero, you lose a life, and that is aggravating. Darn Baby Mario, I tell you. But awesome Yoshi game, fantastic side scroller. Last game, Super Mario All-Stars. I think I did a video on this on the Wii because they did a All-Stars 25th Anniversary Collection, which I have it, and it's just basically, it's these games. And these are side-scrollers, awesome, awesome games. It's basically Super Mario Brothers 1, 2, 3, and also Lost Levels, all on one cartridge. All together cannot beat that fantastic game all right I'm Auckland if you enjoy my content please hit the subscribe button like button also share it with your friends if you don't mind also please comment ask me a question or a comment in general I'll do my best to answer it and I cannot wait until tomorrow even though it is EA plays but that besides the, that's just besides the point e3 is upon us tomorrow so, cannot wait for that.
All right. Thank you so much. All right. Bye.